Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol AMD. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time frame, I think it does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price, and then just makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I have done this analysis multiple times over the past, so that's where these red and green lines are coming from. I think it's been about a week or so since the last update, uh, but today, once again, new high, so a lot of updates here need to be made and on that note going to do or I should start things off with some house cleaning yes these lines that I'm deleting still do pertain to the chart uh, but in the spirit of from a presentation standpoint of not wanting a million lines everywhere that can cause clutter and confusion just want to try to keep this presentation as clean as possible so yeah those lines pertain they're just not exactly relevant right now the first update though that comes about is based on a foundational rule in charting which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above you want to see them act as support. So uh, perhaps some of you that uh, remember watching the past videos, I uh, do remember me talking about 1135 as resistance, but after the price got up above it, this is where you would want to see it act as resistance. And a perfect example here of resistance training as support, you can see early this morning, Bears tried multiple times to you know get the price to, to break down below there and then separate uh, you know back to the downside from there. But the Bulls did a fantastic job of holding above 1135. And that level would be the ideal level, meaning Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute most powerful going forward? If the price can indeed hold above 1135, that would make the Bulls look crazy strong. But by no means am I sitting here saying that if the price drops below 1135, that the entire chart's ruined or anything like that. That would just make it look the strongest. Overall level of support to keep an eye on, just continue to watch that purple line right there. You can see it's been doing a great job of holding up support. Yeah, there's been some times where the price has kind of technically, you know, gotten a little bit below it, but it's always kind of been caught within the range of that purple line. So from the, the big picture of things, you know, as long as the price is above that purple line, bulls are in full control, no questions asked. What about levels of resistance? If this upwards move is going to continue, where are some of these potential battlegrounds at? For this, I actually have to go to the daily time frame because we have to go back quite a bit in the charts history, which is actually a good problem to have. I think actually for this one, we have to go back on the weekly chart, which is just crazy because there we go. So we are going way back into the charts history now to figure out where these potential areas of resistance now. Again, from a bullish perspective, not a bad thing at all. So next key level of resistance, uh, what is that? Right up there at about $12.50. So $12.50 next key area of resistance. But at the end of the day, as long as the price just keeps on doing what it's been doing week after week, then the long-term chart is going to continue to take care of itself like it's been doing. So we'll have to see how it all unfolds tomorrow. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey, Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, and by all means, click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.